Hello and welcome back. While I was making my Blackbird video, my six-year-old graphics card actually passed away. I managed to get the video out anyway, but I had to order a new graphics card, which gave me a much-needed performance upgrade. But it also came with a free copy of For Honor. I've played the game a fair amount now, but one thing keeps bothering me, the longsword. Just look at how thick this thing is, that's like an inch and a half of steel. Eventually, I wondered how heavy this hunk of metal would actually be, so today that's what I'm trying to figure out. Before we get too deep into the math, I just want to show you what a normal longsword should look like. This is the Albion Ringek. If you're interested, check the description. Just a warning, it isn't exactly a cheap wall hanger. Anyway, this sword is a little over 4 feet long, but more importantly, it only weighs a little over 3 pounds, or 1.5 kilograms. That weighs less than a MacBook Pro, so it's not exactly the full-size car you see being swung around in for honor. Three people, but now it's time to get into the math. I'll try to keep this part brief so you don't get too bored. In the game, the characters seem like they're seven foot tall giants compared to the normal people. But I'm gonna be nice and assume that they're just normal height from medieval times. According to a study of about 3,000 skeletons, the average height for a male was probably 5'7 or 170 centimeters. In this picture, the character is about 730 pixels tall, and the sword's about 630 pixels tall. Using the average height we found, we can determine that they're about 4.3 pixels per centimeter. And this gives us the approximate length of the sword, which is 147 centimeters. That's a little on the long side, but definitely not unheard of when it comes to long swords. Now I'm going to switch to this image of the long sword off of For Honor's wiki. This should make the calculations a little easier. The ratio of pixels to centimeter for this image is about 5.1 pixels per centimeter. Using this, we can find that the width of the blade near the guard is about 7 centimeters. Towards the tip, it decreases to about 4 centimeters. I'm just going to pretend the tip is square to make my life easier. It shouldn't make too much of a difference in the end. The length of the blade is about 107 centimeters. Now to find volume, we just need the thickness, but for that we're going to need another image. The best one I could find was this moment from the trailer for the game. The only problem is that the sword is at an angle, so I had to calculate the pixel ratio based off of the width of the knight's helmet, which is about 15.6 centimeters wide. This gives us a new ratio of about 6.4 pixels per centimeter, and from this we can determine that the blade is about 4 centimeters thick. 4 centimeters? That's literally as thick as my wrist! Now you see why this game is so insane. For reference, a normal longsword is 3 to 4 millimeters thick. This is literally 10 times that. It's like swinging 10 swords around at the same time. No wonder these characters' stamina is so terrible. Their weapons probably weigh more than they do. But obviously, I'm not done yet. Using these values, I calculate the volume of the blade, assuming it's a diamond cross-section for simplicity. Once again, I just want to show how insane this sword is. Look at that cross-section. It's almost square. For reference, this is what a normal cross-section would look like. So the average surface area for the cross-section ends up being 11 centimeters squared. Now we just multiply that by the length. And the approximate volume with a lot of fudging is... 1,177 centimeters cubed. That's like 1.2 liters of cola. Except instead of cola, it's solid steel. I keep saying this, but that is nuts. But we still can't calculate the weight because that's just the blade. We have the tang, the guard, the handle, and even the pommel to calculate still, and they don't look light. I'll spare you the math now and just give you the results. The tang, the part that goes through the handle, would probably be about 153 centimeters cubed. The guard is about 266 centimeters cubed. The wooden handle is about 638 centimeters cubed, but we can subtract the tang from that because it runs through it, giving us 485 centimeters cubed for the handle. And finally, the pommel is about 169 centimeters cubed. Now, historically, the pommel would have been hollow to save on weight, but considering they made the blade an inch and a half thick, I don't think that weight was really consideration here. Additionally, having a solid pommel might actually be the only hope of making this sword usable, because it would bring the center of mass further back, but at this point that's just wishful thinking. 
So let's just total up the volumes. We have about 1,765 centimeters cubed of steel, and of course 485 centimeters cubed of wood for the handle. The density of steel is about 7.85 grams per centimeter cubed, and the density of a harder wood can be about 0.9 grams per centimeter cubed. And based off of these values, we find that the total weight of the longsword in For Honor is... A large toddler? More specifically, 14.3 kilograms or 31.5 pounds. Let's compare that to some real weapons. That's nine and a half real longswords, five and a quarter AR-15 rifles, ten and a half Dane axes, 11 katanas, 36 hand grenades, 13 1911 handguns, or two RPGs. Okay, I think you get the point. The sword is heavy. Honestly, I wouldn't have been surprised if it ended up being more like 50 pounds, but 30 still isn't very light. Go to the gym sometime and try to swing around a 30 pound dumbbell like a sword. And if you don't go to the gym, just pick up a three year old- no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't actually do that. Put him down. Now really, that's about the weight of four gallons of water, so you can try that if you really want to get an idea for the weight. And if you think the raw weight is bad, just remember the center of mass is going to be pretty far away from your hands, which just makes this sword harder to handle. Now huge swords are nothing new in video games, but my only question is why did they make the long sword an inch and a half thick, but keep the katana and nodachi fairly historical, especially when the katana was substantially thicker than long swords. The same thing actually happens in Skyrim. It just seems a bit odd to me. Actually, that reminds me. Look at this thing on the guard. That doesn't look like something off of a European sword. The closest thing I can find is a Rikasso, but that's much more subtle. It's just the blade returning to a square shape. But on the sword in For Honor, it almost looks like a separate part. Well, if you know anything about Japanese swords, you probably know exactly what that is. If you look at a katana, you always see this little part here. It's called a habaki. In fact, this little detail is present on almost all Japanese blades. Katana, Tachi, Otachi, Nodachi, even Naganata and Tantos. Now, I probably butchered a lot of those pronunciations, but the point is that the Habaki is literally everywhere in Japan, but nowhere in Europe. So why is it on this longsword? Well, I have a theory. Just a theory, but maybe. The developers of For Honor spent a lot of time trying to make these Japanese weapons very accurate. Then they got to the European weapons and, you know, they were a little lazy and they didn't actually research them, so they just made a sword that was sort of cross-shaped because that's what European swords are. And because they had made so many Japanese weapons, they just put hibaki on it because, you know, that seemed normal to them. And they also probably made the European swords thicker and slower because that's just the pop culture stereotype for them. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Kanathi. Bye.